might be a member of our community or following us or just starting to see some stuff that we're putting out into the world over the last while on journaling or the da daily non-negotiable activities or whatever, you know, and they might be saying, what's the so what of that? I know from my perspective, being around the likes of yourself, and Paul, Dave, Pete, Jerry, Miriam, you know, I've got the huge value from just being able to be in the orbit of some of that stuff. And it's not a, it's not about, say, uh, you know, you mentioned in the DNA video, for example, you know, the, the beauty of it, it's not, it's not prescriptive, it's not prescriptive. So I've been able to find a little bit of a formula, you know, that helps me. And I just, just been getting exposed to some. So in many ways, maybe I'm answering my own question, but that, that might be the so what of this stuff so that you can just be curious and have your curiosity aroused and try some stuff to help you show up into the world a bit better. Mm. If you if you think of why, like I'm not an astrophysicist or a biologist or a scientist. I accept that the planet is circular and it's spinning on its own axis. So even to stand still, you've got to move. Yeah. And when you think of of a human in its legs, in its existence, from its conception, it's in motion. You know, so a sperm has to go through obstacle to get to the egg. Yeah. The egg is then fertilized, and then an embryo takes shape, and it's in motion. It's growing, it's growing, it's growing until it leaves the mom's womb, and it's pushing out, and it's pushing on into the world. So, like, it's, it's out and it's moving every limb. It's, it's looking to turn. It's looking to, to sit up. It's looking to crawl. It's looking to walk. It's looking to stand up. It's looking to be in motion. So, so, you know, so from, from the minute you're conceived, it's almost like you're on an ex, this, this kind of path to go out the other end. So you're in motion. So, so to just even be at peace with being still, there's a motion to it. And it's finding the rhythm of that motion is what I'm curious about. So, so that can be, you know, we talk about our DNAs. So what do you include in your DNAs? It can be a walk, it can be a cycle, it can be a run, it can be a swim. It can be meditation. It can be reading. But it's it's being curious about what puts you into that rhythm of being the best version of yourself. And the best version of yourself is about being at peace, being at ease, being free of pain, being free of anxiety. I don't mean the best version of like, coming first or, or being noticed or building your brand, they're all part of a different construct of it. But the best version of yourself wakes up feeling alive and doesn't have to be looking forward to the day, can be just excited about the day. And the more curious I am about how people do that and the techniques they use to do it you know the more I find wow it's a simple piece of that you know so yeah. it's, it's that meditation and you know so you know someone I was with this morning you know and I'm referencing this morning now that's the third time I've referenced it but someone said I just downloaded the Headspace app and and he said you know I know it's a, probably a simple thing but like it like, oh it's an amazing thing like you God only knows this, you, you could be the person, I'm saying in my own head, you could be the person that writes the book that changes the world because you took a step to download a Headspace app that yeah. introduced you to a form of relaxation and connection in a way that had you not done that, yeah. you wouldn't have access to what was in you. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And, uh, and, you know, the, so when I listen to teachers, um, the more enlightened teachers will always tell you like that, you know, it, what's most complicated is most simple. Yeah. What's most simple is most complicated. And like, you don't have to be following anybody. Just be curious about stuff. And you'll see that there's, 
great masters doing stuff. So who is it? Um, John O'Donnell, who the poet got used to always reference Master Eckhart, you know, back in the 1700s. And his thing was like, you know, if you go back, like in his case, he was living, oh, I think he died in 2008. Yeah. He said, like, you go back a couple of centuries, go back three centuries. And there's someone writing stuff that is speaking to me today. Yeah. And it's more vibrant today for me 300 years later than it was for most people around him then who weren't listening to it. Yeah. So, so there's, no, there's nothing new, but being curious to come across stuff just means there's a good chance that it could be new for you. Yeah. Does that yeah. make sense? 100%, yeah. You yeah, know? absolutely, yeah. Um, yeah. So, so there's, no, there's no reason to have to be doing stuff. There's no, there's no it to be following. Um, and there's no one way is the best way. And, that, and I think that's another fallacy I come across with people is like they try and bring one thing across their business and one thing to fit their people, one thing that you know, everyone really should be. No, it's like it's the variations of it's like, and the variance of. So you'll hear people who are brilliantly practiced at meditation and they'll be saying to you, yeah, well, sometimes the best meditation people will get is on a bike because that's where they can tune out best. Yeah, yeah. And if you can do that, we'll bring you to the place where you'll actually have to do nothing yeah. to feel nothing. But like right now, the best way of tuning out might be in the act of doing a something. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I think as well, you know, you know there's what I like. Um, one of the, Sorry, I think, you. no, that the phrase that just has come to me is almost, you know, if someone was asked, well, so what about any of this stuff? Well, I think it's to find find your formula that works for you. Because yeah. if you're, back to your point of the start of this, you know, if you're waking up in the morning and you're not, you know, not that you have to be fizzing with life all the time, but if if you're not, if you're, if in your deeper knowing, maybe something could change here. You know, it's about the so what as well. Get curious about that and explore that and value the exploration in, in that, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's good to not know the answers and it's good to be stretched. Yeah. You know, and it's like, it's, it doesn't have to be wacky. Yeah. But then again, what does that mean? It doesn't have to be wacky. You know, yeah. like, because for some people, just downloading a Headspace app is wacky. Yeah. You know, so... Yeah. It's the simplest of things. Um, mm -hmm. So that's that's why I would say it's worth being part of the You First Monthly is that, you know, you come across stuff that will help in some of your curiosity. Yeah. And uh, and we have kind of, we have the, the different flavors of who we are and below the line feeding into that. So we have different variants on that. Yeah. Different things in, in how we go about stuff all coming from a similar place or a similar space. Yeah. But going about things in a slightly different way. So we're not clones of each other. We don't yeah. look like other, no, other than that, you know, we come from the same part of the world. But I think as well, one of the things that I've been struck by as well is how much how much we learn from the people who tune into yeah, the webinars or press polls on a weekly basis. Like there's just a wealth of wisdom there as well that's just so valuable too. How could you not, David? Yeah. I mean, how could you not be learning all of the time when you put yourself in front of people? Because yeah. in in our most ordinary is where the extraordinary stories are. Yeah. And you and I have witnessed in the last 12 months people sharing stuff with us in the simplest of ways where you're just absolutely blown away in their ability to share it, in their courage to share it in the beauty of their story or the simplicity of how they tell it and they're ordinary folk like you and I yeah. now so who is the extraordinary one then who, who are those who are exalted they're not like they all have to put on their pants with one leg at a time yeah. you know what I mean everyone's waiting their bones somewhere or other yeah so exalted what like when you're when you're down here on this planet we're all human, yeah. you know, whether we're human, things are human doings is a different thing, but we're all human. So, uh, so yeah, so the stories, 
and the the sharing that people have done with us through their individual work one on one or through the webinars and the press pauses has been exceptional and and the lovely thing about something like the press pause is how people use it to dip in and out so there are people so we're now six weeks into new year and there's people who haven't been there in the new year yet yeah and as they've dropped back in in the last week or two you know it's been like oh my god like i couldn't i was busy i was getting started i was doing homeschooling or like whatever and and it's great to sit in here and yeah and it's not like and it's not pick up where we were it's like just to be in that space yeah because it's not like it's the same subject every time we're together it's not like we plan a subject when we're together it's not like there's an order of who speaks or who says you know and it's just just fabulous pete's storytelling has been absolutely incredible yeah fabulous and again you and i have witnessed that personally small groups of people coming together to work on sharing something that they had no idea they didn't necessarily want to share. Yeah. And crafting that in a way that just exposes other things from, yeah. wow, nice. And, yeah. and, you know, the, you know I, I, I kind of, I'm a bit anti the phrase, you know, changing lives and stuff like that, but you can see lives been changed, not in a material sense, not in a, an external sense, but in a very deep internal shifting and unlocking of stuff. You know, which is for me, I think where I think the real the real magic is, you know, and the most important stuff is. Isn't it? And again, I understand where you're putting almost like a, a health warning in front of that because it's not about being evangelical, it's not about no. following in. It's it is the is, it's the fact. The fact is that if you're curious enough to allow yourself be in a space with others who are curious things happen yeah and no one can prescribe what's going to happen yeah when you're open to it though and you're curious it just does yeah and and whether it physically happens or emotionally happens for you even your witnessing of it happening for someone else generally is a stirring yeah you know so so it's not a, like so for anyone listening in, it's not about all the big reveal and it's not about the picture just be part of something you could be a part of a conversation with me and david and hear david speaking on your behalf because the things that are coming up from are exactly yeah. what for you but actually you didn't feel the need to say it you didn't feel the need to talk about it but actually you know if someone is voicing it on your behalf it's like now i know why i'm sitting here <laughs> yeah. yeah and that's the beauty of being curious enough to put yourself in spaces and that's what I love about what we're creating in, in, in its simplest and in its essence. We're all the time just providing the space. It's not even we're creating media, we're just providing the space for people to turn up, be curious, and in their curiousness, let unfold whatever's unfold. Yeah.